Uh, the next one is to uh, Mr. Kenny Keener. Mr. Uh, Jim Widener. And this one is to the ultimate first chair percussionist, Louis Belson. gentlemen and yours truly I'm sure that uh, you all realize that we're very very grateful to you for remembering us in this very special occasion. Thank you. Can Louie have his mic first? Oh here we go. All right thank you very much. Thank you. Um, <laughs> how, how about a nice round of applause for Sam, the drummer that came out and played for Clark Terry. <laughs> Clark, I, I, to, I told him what you said yesterday. He, he's a fine example of a young man who plays well and really listens, you know. Right, absolutely. But I can't tell you what a joy it is to always be in a bandstand with, to me, the greatest, Clark Terry, and this wonderful band. And thank I thank you. you very much. This is going to be in the special room. Thank you. And a very, very special thank you from all of us to the man that put it all together. And you know how lucky you are to have him here. Not only for the work that he does, but for the dedication that he has to these young people that you see up here and what you're about to witness. Very special thank you to Mr. Jerry Hoover. <laughs> and to this marvelous, SMSU Jazz Ensemble. This next little tune is a tune that I've been associated with for a number of years. On the Tonight Show, we used to do this thing every night, or every other night or so. And it was a game that Johnny used to play with the audience called Stump the band. It simply meant that someone in the audience, some lady in the audience would suggest a tune and the band was supposed to know all the tunes. Nobody knows all the tunes. But we would pretend that we did in order to kill dead air on television so that somebody in the audience could win a couple of tickets to a raunchy restaurant on 3rd Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> whenever, whenever I was called on to solve the mystery tune, which was usually a Girl Scout campfire song from 1812, I would, I would answer with the wordless blues, the likes of which we're about to do right now. If you should happen to hear anything that sounds political, please believe me, it is purely coincidental. We call this Mumbles. She don't 
But seriously, if the fever is found, the cover of the hoop is clear, if they find the cover of the hoop, you know what I'm But it's cold for the hand is clear, it's clear, but the bar of the hymn is clear. But Bob Scott said, we don't know if the hymn is clear. Oh, yeah! It is cold for the hymn, but the hoop is cool and down, and the flame for the hand is clear, but the splits for the hand is cool and slam, for the hole is clear. It is cold for the hand is clear, and it's cold for the hand is clear. But if it's been wrong for the hoop is clear, for the hand is clear. Now the split is clear, she's clear, and the car and the horn is gone, and the fifth is clear, and so the hand is clear. But the film for the hand is clear, if it's flash for the hand is clear, but the school is for the cash and the split is clear, and the horn is clear, and the horn is clear, and the horn is clear. You don't have to read my lips no more. Thank you. 